Hey guys, this is the Blue Biker, aka Ayush Rathod. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded any videos, but here I am. A lot of things were going on in my life, but finally things are falling back in place, and I thought, hey, what better way than to start making videos again? So here I am in my new home with a completely new setup, and a lot of things are new, including this, which is what today's video is about. Uh, this is not a review video. I'm going to tell you right off the bat. This is just a first impression of it. I have just got this package. Unfortunately, I was too too impatient to wait wait for the camera to start rolling. So I have opened it. I know what it looks like, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about this master cylinder kit. Uh, of course, I will put a timestamp somewhere. Here or there, or wherever, so you can jump directly to the first impression. But I feel like before going there, I need to give you some kind of context as to why I chose RCB. Why didn't I choose uh, something else? Well, there are many reasons for this. Actually, no, there are there are just a couple of reasons. All right. Uh, the first one is that ever since I got my bike, I felt the brakes were not so good. So I've been trying to improve my brakes since the time I got my bike. Uh, I started with. Changing the brake fluid, so I switched to dot four and then dot five point one. Marginal difference, but not noticeable in most cases. The next thing I did to improve the brakes was to install Brembo sintered pads on it, uh, and I have to say, insane brakes, insane brake pads. I would totally recommend you go for sintered brakes over any other kind of brakes. The brakes are now good, but the master cylinder does not do justice to the braking system at all. Again. there is very poor feedback on it and i i would prefer something that is better the last reason was that in the last one month my master cylinder was acting up and it was just very annoying to deal with i'll put a video on it if i can it's just i am scared that it will go off any time when i'm going fast and it won't the brakes will fail so i had to upgrade them and i have i had to replace the master cylinder so i thought what better way than to get radial master cylinders Of course there are many options in the market right now. Actually no there are not many options in the market to be honest. There are just two options in the market if you want good brakes. One is RCB, one is Brembo. Brembo the ones that you get for like 4000 rupees or something or 5000 rupees uh, you get them at Skyboy shop and some stores across India. But here's the thing those Brembos are master copies. They are very close replicas of the original Brembos but I just don't trust them at all. Don't don't fall for it. We all know Brembo brakes are super expensive, so even a Brembo master cylinder would cost you somewhere around forty to fifty thousand rupees if you import it from I don't know where they are made. I think Italy or Germany. Okay, so I went with RCPs. Of course, this is not a cheap modification. Uh, I had to pay what? What did I pay for this? Actually, uh, I don't know where the bill is. I paid somewhere around nine thousand rupees for this. So let's start. right off the bat the box feels premium it's pretty good solid but i love the branding on this okay uh, there's nothing else to talk about about the box it's red and it has this this thing you wear i'm not sure what it's called but i i'm assuming it's to check whether this is original or not i ordered this from lrl which is the official importer of this brand so this can't be in can't be a fake I'm pretty sure about it now opening this is you are greeted with this now i'll pull it out so here it is rcb brake master cylinder 14 mm it looks pretty neat uh, i ordered it in silver color because i was uh, honestly i was confused what color to pick because they didn't have blue in stock and there was black golden red and silver so golden looks a bit tacky red is way too common what's the point of putting black also my girl liked this color so i went with this one uh now first impression of this it's pretty good okay like the moment you hold this in hand it feels solid it feels high quality it feels premium this is totally worth the money in terms of quality and finish like no part on this feels cheap or you know It doesn't feel like they have cut corners anywhere. I'll just turn this around for a while so that you can get a better view of this. 
I hope the camera focuses on this. I'm recording on iPhone, so I'm not really sure how well this records such videos. Coming to what the MC kit is, and uh, this is for the reservoir. I think the reservoir will sit somewhere over here or over here if I'm not wrong. Uh, this is for bleeding the reservoir because in a radial master cylinder you have to bleed the reservoir as well as the caliper. Uh, then you just push, push. It feels really smooth. It feels light. It feels precise. Obviously, once this is completely installed with the reservoir and oil and everything. This will change. There will be more resistance and pressure to it, but right off the bat, feels smooth. Then there is this thingy to increase or decrease the reach of your levers, and that thing is very, very tactile. I love this. It feels solid. It does not feel loose. It does not move around at all. Quite happy with it. Uh, then there is this mechanism over here so that. This lever can fold upwards in case you crash. This is not folding right now because I think the bolt is way too tight. I will have to loosen that up. But this is a good feature to have considering how expensive this brake is. But anyway, it has two safety systems. One of them is this. The second one is this. This is the breaking point of the lever. So even if this does not fold up, your lever lever will break from here, not anywhere else. So you can still apply the brakes and get home. and then spend a lot of money replacing this again this was the main part of the kit let's put this aside let's look at what else you get in the kit the next thing we, next thing we have is the banjo bolt that will go along with the brake hose uh not much to say about this i mean it's a bolt it feels premium but i'm not really sure how cheap bolts or premium bolts feel it feels good feels solid so mm, it's it it's a bolt it works okay it's supposed to work it's a very simple thing the next thing is the bracket that will hold the reservoir tank uh, this thing fixes on the rear view mirror so it's pretty easy to install but i think i have to get a special bolt for it if i'm not wrong we'll see we'll see during the installation if there's something else that's needed for this i will definitely let you guys know so that you don't get into the same issues like i do uh what else yeah another very important part of the brake is the reservoir tank this looks pretty good it is very high quality as you can see the hose feels solid it it's very rigid the tank is made of plastic but i can't complain about it it's pretty good high quality it feels solid it does not feel like plastic that's how good quality it is this cap also feels premium the only issue i have with the cap is that there is no locking mechanism so any random person can come and then fiddle around with your cap open it lose it i don't know expose your brake fluid to air which is something you should not do uh, brake fluid is i don't know what's that scientific term for it but it attracts a lot of moisture so you want to avoid it like avoid exposing it to air or something because then it'll just it will attract a lot of moisture uh, moisture will get in the fluid and then when you start breaking heavily the moisture will turn into vapor and your brake will feel, start feeling loose or vague if that's yeah i think vague is the right word so again reservoir tank really good quality i'm happy a lot of foam don't care about the foam honestly then there's this uh there's a wire that will connect to the brake light wire in your bike so that when you press the brakes the brake light comes on silica gel this is okay I'm sorry pointless it's then there is a manual which i thought would be more comprehensive but it is not it just has a diagram of how the master cylinder should come together but apart from that nothing else like what should you install first how to install what are the specifications or how much pressure to apply nothing like that they have not even shown how to bleed the entire system because if you are new to this kind of braking system bleeding it would be a bit tricky then there's my favorite thing this is why i paid so much money the sticker and it's a little bright this is why i spent so much money i don't ye sab baad mein hai re sticker ke liye paisa diya hai sab us sticker ke sath free mein mil raha hai this 
is definitely going on my bike. I love stickers. I don't know. I call me cheap, but stickers are good. Plus, this sticker is going to add five horsepower to my bike. Stickers win. Okay. Stickers one. Master cylinder zero. Just kidding. This is amazing. It's pretty good. Okay, I've spent some around nine thousand rupees. I hope once this is installed, and I hope it is easy to install. Right now, it looks simple enough, but I'm pretty sure this is going to take at least half an hour of my time. Uh, let's see. I'll try recording a video. Uh, it's pretty good. So so far, so far, so far, so far. If you are thinking of getting RCB master cylinder, fourteen mm, go for it. If remember, if you have anything more than four hundred cc. then you should probably go for 17 mm but again talk to your mechanic about it they will recommend you the best option uh shit almost dropped this on my laptop uh thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys found this video uh, useful and uh, stay tuned i'll be posting more videos on the rcb braking master cylinder 14 mm and i can even do a video highlighting the difference between 14 mm and 17 mm and which one should be better for you uh, let me know if you guys want that if there again if there's any questions suggestions or feedback anything drop them in the comments it would really mean a lot to me cheers